time sometimes I need a pick me up or I'm scared, I put on my Batman t-shirt, I look at myself in the eye and I go, I'm Batman. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back and this has pretty much become my little intro corner. So if you're new here, my name is Jax. I'm a nutritionist in anorexia recovery. Long story short, struggled from anorexia for 15 years and I'm pretty much working at my recovery for like the last five months. So a lot of my videos I'm making on how I'm dealing with my osteoporosis, how I'm dealing with my amenorrhea, how to eat healthily, but just as much as the big part of the physical side to recovery is the mental side. So today wasn't exactly about, we'll say, body healing, about specific healthy recipes. Today is just about challenging those behaviors because recovery is just as much freedom of the body as it is with the mind. We hold ourselves in these little prisoners, like prisons of Azkaban in our heads, like you shall not eat past 8 p.m. And I was like, you know what? I didn't even realize how these rules were holding me back until I challenged them throughout the day. And I was like, whoa, damn. Ooh, scary, scary, scary stuff. But anyway, what I have found has made this process so much easier is when we do it together. I have found the times that I have done the best in my recovery has been when I've shared the load with someone. I've genuinely used the support and encouragement because when you're in your anorexia or your eating disorder or your orthorexia, you isolate yourself from the world. And part of recovery is just opening yourself up to the world again and just sharing this process with people. So if you are looking for a friend to share it with you, like this video, subscribe to my channel, join me along with my journey, and let's get straight into it. Don't I look gorgeous in the morning? I'm really nervous to eat like a whole bowl of this. For the Stephanie Buttermore video, I only did a little bit on top of ice cream. So using a high calorie cereal instead of something healthier, like we'll say Weetabix, the all brand, something like that, that has a health stigma to it. It's sometimes difficult going for the option that you may just think, just go for it on taste. Like when was the last time you chose a cereal just based on taste? So that's what I'm doing for breakfast. And again, doing a whole bowl. Let's just get proportion, like portion sizes right here. Let's just do it. Mm. So as hard as that cereal is to get down for me, it's not just me challenging my food, like the foods that I'm scared of today, but today is also the rules about foods. So what I'm gonna do is challenge one of my biggest food rules, and that, not only did I not measure out my cereal, but I'm also gonna go in for seconds because I know the idea of that is freaking terrifying for me. And I need to teach myself, Jack, seconds doesn't mean anything. Seconds means is double legend status. So part of my ED voice is always like, um, bulk up your meal with some more lettuce or some low calorie items, or it would be like, add something like almond milk to your cereal just to save on calories where you can. So what's the point in having a fear food if I'm gonna compensate in other places? Cause then that will apply to every meal I have and I'll still be stuck in that half like quasi recovery state. So again, big food rule of mine is not, is like I'm not adding unnecessary calories, but remember, we aren't making decisions about that anymore. This is really, really uncomfortable for me now. But like I said, I'm fighting today for something that I'm not gonna be uncomfortable about one day because I'll remember back to the day where I didn't wanna do it, but I did it anyway. So fighting for freedom later on, I suppose. Freedom. So if you're at breakfast this morning and you wanna challenge one rule today, maybe don't use a measuring scale, maybe use extra peanut butter, maybe use the full fat instead of the fat free, maybe use a bread or two slices of bread with no calorie label on it instead of the healthy low carb bread, but just starting off small. Anyway, 
of a shower, change out of this, and then leg up. Okay, so I'm just outside Costa Coffee here. It's like around lunchtime, and I am challenging a huge, huge rule of mine. So I'll never just take myself out to lunch unless like I'm with a family member or a friend or someone else has suggested it. I feel like we just have this problem with just treating ourselves for the sake of it, especially in recovery. We feel like we need an occasion or we need an invite to go out to places. It's just we never go on that free will like I'm going to take myself out to lunch. And I always like I feel like I need permission to have a treat. I need permission from someone else like I'm not going to eat the slice of cake unless you offer it to me like I, I, it's it's the weirdest concept and the weirdest mindset but anyway I want to be at a stage where I want to treat myself I want to just wake up one morning and be like you know what I feel like sushi today I don't need to wait for a special occasion to have sushi or to do this I'm just gonna do it because I'm worth it and I want to treat myself my rule today, not only is it having lunch out by myself at Costa, this was the closest place I could get to. So one, I'm not allowed to order a salad, which I have never done before. It makes me nervous to order something other than a salad from the menu. And I'm not allowed to check any of the calorie counts when making my decisions. So it's just gonna go purely based on taste. I wanna teach my body how to make decisions based on what I want, not what I feel more comfortable with or what I think I should have. So anyway, before I procrastinate anymore, let's just, let's just get this done. Let's just let's just do this together. So I like it was so loud in there that I wouldn't be able to speak you through anything. But I have got to actually show you something so funny, like the camera setup I have right now. I feel like pretty much of a rock star. Like I thought, so I would at least come and speak you through the meals because the whole point of this challenge and this channel is to pretty much get through our meals together and things like that. So I've never gotten this before. I made a decision just based on looking at the front of everything as you guys saw. But this is the salmon. Scottish smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel, which I've never seen before. It has corn, cranberry bagel, Scottish smoked salmon, pickled red onions, and peppered cream cheese. Like, I love bagels. I've never ordered a bagel out before, so that was huge for me. Again, this is kind of a treat yourself meal because it's my favorite type of things. Like, so often we make decisions based on the calorie content or the macros, but when do you ever make a decision because of, I'm going to treat myself with this meal? Oh, but I'm so nervous. Okay. But I'm treating myself. I'm just going to keep saying that to myself, Jax. You're eating this to treat yourself. You're eating this because you deserve it. So that's just... No, that was probably the, my favorite thing I have ever ordered from Costa and I think in lunch in general. And I would have never known how freaking good that tastes unless I had decided to treat myself today. I need to break through these rules that I have, not just about food, but feelings around food and moments the way I eat a food. And I, like I said, that was the most incredible thing I have ever eaten, like ever, ever, ever ordered. And if you guys have a Costa near you, have the smoked salmon bagel. I'm, I'm shook. And I never thought I'd be the type of person that said the words, I'm shook. Here I am saying it because I'm a shook. Oh, balls. Put your lids on properly, ducks. So I'm just going to slowly sip my coffee and I'm going to go get ingredients for dinner. So my brother was supposed to cook dinner, but um, he didn't because he chickened out. I'm calling him out on YouTube. You're a wuss. He's, he'd been vaccinated. So he's like, oh, I feel ill. I feel weak. Call it the man flu, my friend. It's the man flu. You don't feel ill or weak. 
Guys, I'm digging this contraption that I've made. I might start like Trisha Peter style mukbangs in my car. How do you say it? Mukbang or mukbang? Like I call it a mukbang. It's, how, it's like how I would say it. Guys, this whole process of rewiring your brain is so much more than we actually think. We think our problems are just with food and the foods we're scared of, but it's not that. It's the moments around food that we have problems with. It's the time of the food. It's our reactions towards why we're choosing that food. So I'm, I'm so excited that I did that because that was a barrier that I didn't even know that I had. And yeah, so guys, go tr treat yourself. That's what that meme is for now, okay? So we're gonna treat yourself. Okay, so this is my brother's white chocolate kinder birthday cake. Now, a big food rule of mine is I only save desserts to after dinner. Like, I don't have them just throughout the day because it's one of those things where I like to know how many calories I like to have, to have left at the end of the day. If I've eaten a cheat meal or maybe a few cheat meals, then I won't necessarily have a dessert or I know how much to portion out. So there's nothing scary about the unknown. Not knowing what I'm gonna have for dinner, not knowing what I'm gonna do for dessert or anything. So just knowing that this, the meal before, shouldn't affect the meal after. Like if I'm having a treat now, doesn't matter what I had the meal before. It doesn't matter what I had for breakfast. doesn't matter what my snack was. And this is a big rule of mine that I'm trying to challenge is genuinely just being in the present. And this white chocolate cake, oh my God. And Kinder's my favorite chocolate as well. Let's do it. This is just a plain style of Kinder that was on the chocolate, so I thought, let me push myself and have this. That on my first ever recovery challenge on YouTube, I, it was my first challenge ever, ever, ever in my whole anorexia journey. All I could do was have one bar of Kinder chocolate, and I was severely restricting throughout the day for that one bar. And I did it on camera, first time ever. So it's such a, oh my gosh, how far I've come with the fact that a few months ago, this is all I could do during the day. And now I'm having the cake with this, as well as the cereal. Look at how far you've come, not how far you've got to go. Don't look at how long it's gonna take you to be okay for that pizza and cake and, and whatever. Look at how far you've come from. So this is an ode to you guys being able to get there. And it doesn't get better than Kinder. So I pushed myself to this because, to do this at this time of day, because I was inspired by one of you that watches my vlogs. I showed a video of me on my Instagram stories eating the cake at night. And Jen, who sent me a message saying that I inspired you to eat cake for lunch and made you feel safe enough to do it. So I was like, you know what? That's something that still scares me. So because you did it, you inspired me to break through that challenge today. So I'm really grateful for that. So. And by the way, that was worth every single thing that was on that plate. You can't compare that to an apple. Like you, gen people that are like, yeah, I can substitute the taste with stevia and this and that. I'm like, no, no, my friends. You convince yourself that alternatives taste better. No, they don't. I'm like, no, they don't. Time sometimes. I need to pick me up, or I'm scared. I put on my Batman T-shirt. I look at myself in the eye and I go, I'm Batman.
dinner was amazing. I ended up having three of the quesadillas and the whole challenge that I wanted to face with that was adding extra trees, not bulking up my meal with vegetables and just genuinely going for taste again and not relying on vegetables to fill me up, like relying on the scary foods to fill me up. So I need to go shower. I think I've spilt on myself at least four times today. So I'm going to go shower and then I'll see if I'm going to have dessert. We'll let you see if I do. Okay guys, so I'm all about sharing the really honest side to recovery and it's all well and good being as positive as I can for everyone all the time, but I struggle a lot today because with the a lot of the weight gain at the moment, today my jeans didn't fit me and it was difficult because challenging my food rules not only as am i letting go of the person that i was i suppose metaphorically but i'm also physically losing that person who i was and when you physically see your body change and say you see your family members around you losing weight it can be horrible and all you want is to hear that same type of praise we still love to hear hey you've lost weight and it's just i, I suppose trying to rewire the mind or just being gentle on your body when you get upset over those things and realizing that this is just the human side to recovery and I didn't want to push through and eat any dessert so what I thought is what's scarier than doing that twice a day having cake and this the whole point that I'm doing this now is because it's the last thing I wanted to do and I'm gonna keep doing the last thing I want to do until it's just a thing that I can do until it's just something that's normal but yeah this time of that night as well, the time of night that I just, I get nervous at is everything about this after today. It just needs to be done. So guys, pretty much, if you take anything from this, if you're waiting till you feel... Whenever you guys tell me in the comments section below, I wish I was as comfortable as you are doing challenges, or I wish I could do a challenge. If you're waiting till you feel okay to do a challenge, or if you're waiting till the day that you're not scared to do a challenge, you'll never end up doing them. Any challenge is called a challenge because it is scary. Because I ate this now doesn't mean it's easy for me. It was challenging and I forced through it and I didn't feel ready to do it and I didn't want to do it, but I forced it anyway. So never wait till a moment that you think it's going to be easy, so then you should wait to do it till then. You shouldn't think, okay, I'm just going to wait a few weeks into my recovery. I don't want to push myself too much. You'll never feel ready to do them. Trust me, you just got to push yourself through it and just take that leap of faith. But I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope I've inspired you maybe to fight through one of your fears or one challenge you face or just change one mindset behavior. If you did like it, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I love having you guys along this journey with me. I love having you guys along this journey with me. And I'm going to see you in my next videos.